Welcome back to Friends with Benefits, everyone. My name is Diego. My name is Matt. My name is Aaron Denny. Isaac. And today we're going to be talking about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Before we get started, please take a second to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and we really appreciate it. That said, let's dive in. Erin Denny, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am 23. I'm Isaac's girlfriend. Oh, wow. Ooh, what? Love. Yo. Um, <laughs> I graduated from Weber State last spring in dental hygiene. Life is good. Life is good. Life is yeah. good. And teeth are good. Um, teeth fantastic. are really good. I love it. Life is fantastic. Good. I'm really happy and excited to be here Ooh. with the boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the boys. You already know. <laughs> I already know. Did you know for a, for a long time that dental hygiene was the move? It was the move. It was the move. Yeah. Ever what since got you I was into like it? 13. I was super close to my orthodontist. He was always like, You are going to be such a great dental hygienist. You would be wow. great at it. And so, cool. Having those influences in your life is just. Here How I about am. the influence? <laughs> That's awesome. That's sick. Yeah, thanks. That is pretty Good cool. for you. Happy. Good for you. Yeah. Where do you work right now? I work at Summit Dental in Layton. So we should go to Summit Dental. Everybody got to get Summit our teeth Dental. cleaned. Super cool. Super cool. How'd you and Isaac meet? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. I want you to we tell the story. We always argue about the. Well, not argue, but you we're tell, always you like. Tell, you tell how we met. When okay, says, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even Basically. Yeah. <laughs> I do that all the time. Diego. Me and Diego know each other like, what, from like Weber State, right? Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I think we originally maybe met through Marcos. Marcos knew you. Yeah, and like something we, like that. Yeah, I think we met through him. And then like I followed him on Instagram and then we were like in this presidential leadership thing. Then he would always talk about Isaac and I was always like, who's Isaac? Knowing very well who Isaac was, you know, and then I followed him on Instagram. <laughs> I still have that um, question. <laughs> who is I? I never know. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt's on to something right there. <laughs> Just what? And <laughs> then, you know, I swiped up. Mm. Up and right. Nice. Many times, but then finally he got, got the hit, I think. Yeah, it was after a bunch of, this is so cool, swipe ups. That's what she would say. This is cool, thinking that that's shooting her shot. <laughs> no and i've definitely planted the seed absolutely sure. not it was I like no sure. no it was I like, like hard eyes like oh my no gosh, hard like, eyes dude yeah. it was like i was like you look so good oh like, my OMG. goodness no and way and he would be dude. like double tap <laughs> <laughs> no it way would just be seen it would, four minutes ago and it'd it be like, would be cool yeah it would no that's it, that's crazy <laughs> that's it's delu no, that's that's delusional. Like, that sounds like that's him. delusional. Like listen, sure. listen. It was like it was it was more of like it was more of like I would post something to me, Diego, or like us being somewhere. She's like, "This is so cool." I'm like, "Yeah, it is." This is such. And that was it. <laughs> and that was that it. Not and then like you know that would be it. At and one it point, so you guys funny. were in New York, and I was like, "Oh my yeah. gosh!" Like New York, meet me at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> not the. What Empire, Empire State, State Building? Building. And close, he was like, very close. He's like, okay, where are you? And I was like, okay, I don't know. It was just kind of weird. I was like, yeah. I'm just trying to. And then I try to plant the seed. It was a bunch of like, oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. Okay, no, that <laughs> sort of stuff. Like just like it was like more not. compliments than anything. I was like, oh, shout out to the homie real quick. You know, no, she's gassing no. me up. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, well, first off, it's just, like, we're stupid. Like, guys are just dumb, so, like, we don't take, we don't know hints, right? We don't take hints very well unless it's, like, straightforward, right? Unless yeah. it's, like, hey, you're cute, like, let's hang out sort of thing. It's I will it. never catch on, right? Hey, <laughs> silliness. you, you got to water a seed multiple times before you see it. Yeah, you're right, and True. it worked. Look at Matt, true botanist over here. I can go. I don't know, it didn't work for me, bro. I've been telling Isaac he's cute for, for years now. I bro. agree. Aaron Denny, do you believe in aliens? 100%. Ooh. I do. Wow. Why? I've seen UFOs for sure in the sky and like signs and stuff in a lot of YouTube. Signs? At the movie? Yeah, no, like oh. signs. <laughs> in, like I've seen UFOs in the sky. What's a UFO to you? A no, UFO? so that's a great question. Sorry, you were just about to explain, but oh, yeah, we, gotta, you, we you have go to ahead. define Thanks, UFO because <laughs> someone piloting a ship or an unidentified flying object, right? Those are two, oh, yeah. be two different You're things. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like a species looking over us or a rock that was just really fast. I don't know. Like what when you say UFO, was it going in di like different directions or was it a similar direction? Explain yeah, what, yeah, well, what was that? Yeah. What was, do you remember I that guess, UFO yes. encounter? When? Wait, what you were just talking about. You oh, said you've seen oh, UFOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thought, like explain So she sorry. lied. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I've seen them up at Bear Lake, like I guess in like an object kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
yeah also bear lake monster is real just to put that out there oh but is that never the, even heard of that that's the lake monster yeah, yeah. yeah i've yeah. seen that one too you have <laughs> yeah i haven't heard of that <laughs> those are some bold <laughs> statements <laughs> i've only lake. heard um, of i've only heard of i Nessie. guess i guess it's just like the object you know so i'm flying in the air but yeah. you don't do know you think it could be like a drone or something hold up were you like it, it was be. it during the day or during it was during the night okay so you were clearly like hallucinating <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah what do you think yeah I, I believe in aliens like for sure you never you like just don't know right it's, you just don't know what's i happening. don't think that we're you know alone in the universe for sure i just don't know if yeah. they're like considered like aliens like everyone like puts them out to be yeah. like, like, no, green, like humanoid yeah. like, like the green, sort yeah. of like you know what i mean i think it could be it's like small as just like a little baby organism yeah. like, like that that's a something. yeah like something that's like alive organisms. and then we'll all just be disappointed and sad that's not war of the world right <laughs> i don't know if i'd be sad and disappointed world. about that one yeah, i think some people would be like God, i just want to have a full-on war sort of thing that, that show is scary but ufos you can't really connect it to aliens i agree with that one completely yeah like okay, matt said it's an unidentifiable like, flying object like matt said that could literally yeah. be anything and so I agree. Can't really connect the two unless you see like a little unless you see like a thing. spaceship with a little and saucer. Like, yeah, and like see a cow true. getting sucked up. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> mm-hmm. What about you, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen some weird things in the sky. The only problem I have with jumping straight to an alien is I also don't know just how far we have gone with technology. Wait, hold up. Sense? What is that? Yeah. What does that have to do <coughs> with well, I think I know UFOs and aliens? It's not like putting a target on my back. See, yeah, he's watching, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I think that there's maybe some government tech out there. <laughs> yeah, I that, think uh, there's life. I think there's life. I really do. If someone were to ask me straight up, Matt, do you think that there is life that's originated away from Earth? 100%. Yeah. The universe is too big. Way too big. Now, in our observable universe, that's a different question because I feel like there's so many people with like such high tech microscopes right now. It would go viral. Or would it? Or maybe know. they're trying to keep some. Uh, exactly. Well, here, here's the thing. Sus. It's like, yeah, I, I think even if it did, I think there's just like always going to be two sides to like anything that's always. put on social media. Yeah, Half always. Of them like, yo, this is fake. The other is yeah. real. And like, we will, we'll never know, right? Unless we like actually like see it, you know, with our eyes. The thing about social media for me is just seeing what movies can do. And I know that not all YouTube developers and like video developers are on that level of developing as far as cinematography goes. But like when watching a movie and then seeing a video online it, it could be the same like someone's ma- making the video does that make yeah. sense what i'm trying to say that's why i hate leaving something off the internet sometimes i want to see it from my eyes well, well, al- aliens were like stuff. before the internet so sure right they were before when, the internet. actually that's a great question when was it a phenomenon dude no idea here well, it's got it's, it's got to go no it's got to go way back there's like so many like hidden like hieroglyphics and stuff that's like true. that like You're back right. in like ancient times that. where it was like the early civilizations like knew that. something was out there and they saw some weird stuff and they like draw it up yeah, yeah the first big ufo sightings was the roswell incident that's a huge one. 1947. Okay. Huge. Sighting. I think that's like the biggest one here in the United States. That was like the one that was like, yo, this is crazy sort of thing. Yeah. Like I said, earlier civilizations would have like some sort of art, whatever it is. Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That was total fiction. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, Diego's right though. <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest. I think I, be- I want to believe more than I think I actually believe. I'm not saying I'm a non-believer. Yeah, I'm not convinced 100 to where i would like put my blood on it okay okay i get that that's, so that's my answer that's a long that's answer a, i'm hey, sorry yeah. but that's my so answer. that's 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 that was good that's, that's valid answer, i you know i have a pretty talk similar about. answer i don't believe aliens exist but i could be wrong the universe like you said it's huge so there always is a possibility that life does exist but i don't believe it exists short and simple there's diego nice yeah look at diego look at me oh. wait how uh, come <laughs> what do you mean by that Diego? how come please explain explain to me why you don't think because i know where matt's coming from but you yeah. said no so i'm gonna say no probably from like a spiritual aspect where okay. i don't know how i could reconcile the two of them i don't mm. think they contradict each other but i don't see like a way for them to mesh Exist. very well i also think like the miracle of life is such a unique phenomenon there's like a millionth of a millionth chance that life could ever exist and this is life in like the smallest like most minuscule form possible where something moves and then it 
is sentient so it, it can think it can reproduce just to get all of the things lined up correctly it's such a small chance that even though like the universe is 93 billion years old and growing i think it's still such a small chance that the odds are not in favor of there being life wow but i could be wrong and if i'm wrong that's awesome <laughs> but for this topic i'm gonna play along i'm gonna say maybe aliens do exist so if they do exist why haven't we seen them that's also like a huge question yeah Aaron, what do you think? something to think about for sure well i've seen them oh okay i'm just oh, kidding <laughs> i have seen hey, them i like have videotapes oh no, man like why haven't they come down landed and said hey y'all hey what what's up, up? right like yeah. introduce like a proper introduction is that the question like why not yeah because like, that's, that's what i feel that like or like why haven't we seen them like in space because like you said we have telescopes and true, stuff like that so why haven't we seen true them in space man maybe it's further out maybe like, like you know how there's many like galaxies and stuff like yeah, that maybe, maybe it's, it's like literally can't see it. maybe they came here on accident i don't know not like on accident but you know what i'm saying like maybe like a time travel hey just passing by you know didn't mean yeah, to come maybe through. Something like that. No, hit stop. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think a lot of the times people see them or claim to see them and then it's like vanish sort of thing, right? They can never like trap one or yeah. like whatever it is because they just scatter. If they do exist, it's more of like they don't want to be seen. Yeah. Right? I was going to say, playing along that like idea, what if aliens do exist? But they're so incredibly advanced, like technologically and just like, just like mentally yeah. too. Like they're so much more advanced than us. So they just kind of like study us. Yeah. And that's it. And then maybe they like pop in from time to time. Then they're like, all right, I'm out. That's a good right? They just yeah. think we can't comprehend them or something. And they're like, yeah, yeah if they see like, us, they'll, they'll lose like, their minds. They're like, no, it's not worth staying here. <laughs> <laughs> you know that picture of like the alien that's kind of like sitting on the bed, I think? Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> that's the homie. That's the homie. That's, yeah. <laughs> I love him so much. He's so He's funny. So funny. <laughs> He's got the hat on. The yeah, glasses. he's just waiting. Yo, the one where there's like the video of like them like in space or whatever, like <laughs> like having a rave, like dude, like in the UFO. Yeah. That's so funny. No, bro. it's gotta be like a alien top. memes are Yo, like good, dude, top shit. tier, top good shit, top so good. Yeah, I I would hope aliens looked like that. Oh man, I that feel would like, be like the best version that we nah, could possibly dude, I get. I think I think like anything humanoid, like similar to like our body shape, is like too scary for me. You know what I mean? Really? Like, dude, could you imagine if it was like just like one from like Signs? Have you seen Signs? I haven't seen Signs. Shit. Who's seen Signs? No one's seen Signs. But yeah, anything that just looks very similar to like our body structure is like too scary for me. I'd really? rather have it be like anything other than like what we look like. Dude, definitely not me. Cause like if I see an alien that looks like yeah. an alien from Alien or like a face crawler. Oh, dude. That is Bro. scary. I'm not gonna lie. Is that what they're called? Face crawler or face hugger? Face hugger. Yeah, face hugger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> and a xenomorph. Xenomorph. Yeah, dude. So yeah, I'm scary. Out. Those are tough. I'm out, dude. What about you, Matt? Why do you think we haven't seen them, or what do you think they look like, or hope they look like? Let's say I'm advanced intelligence, and I pass by Earth. I would take a look, and I would turn around and go really far away. Like, what could we possibly do? Or obviously, an intelligence that can jump from planet to planet, from system to system. What ore do we have that they don't? Man, they, I just feel like they'd be like, "Hey, we could use these guys." If anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. If anything, we might have like some entertainment and comedy. We're like a movie theater for them. Like, hey, hon, you want to go to the movie theater? Watch us for a little yeah. bit. It's we're possible. pretty entertaining. They see our entire world. We're pink and bubbly. Yeah. And how we're tearing it apart ourselves. <laughs> Be like, hey, this is good <laughs> shit right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Another possible reason that we might not see aliens is maybe there's something more advanced out there that's killing the aliens. Mm. So what if like all these aliens like rise up into like space civilizations or something like that but before they can start like, exiting their galaxies and moving on to other galaxies something just kills, kills them. them all. I don't know. I think it's scary that we haven't seen aliens because if we get advanced enough to a point it could just kill us. I think what I'm like mostly trying to get at here is the Fermi paradox. Have any of you guys heard of it? No. It's essentially that question. If the universe is so big and things line up, why haven't we seen aliens? And it's for a couple of reasons. Like one, maybe the universe is just too big that we will never ever see them. They'll just never make it yeah. to our, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. light travel still going to take billions True. of light years to go from one end of the universe to the other end. So that could be a reason for why we don't see them. It could also be they're just so advanced that they view us as like minuscule where we're just anthills. 
so they don't see any reason to stop and like try to view us or talk to us. And then another reason, I think it's called the great filter. It's like a barrier to life. And that could be anything really. It could be like war or maybe just aliens don't know how to manage their resources well enough for them to advance their civilizations further. If it's any of those things, that could be like us where maybe at some point, like we'll reach a level in our civilization where we just can't go any further because we can't get along. Or four, they're already among us and they're just shapeshifters. You know <laughs> they're I mean? shapeshifters. Or they're just like, they just look like us. You know, men in black. Act like us. Like, <laughs> like, men in black. Oh, that'd be crazy. The actual organization, you know? Like, dude. That could be it, you know? Maybe you haven't seen them because of that. That would be crazy. That would be, like, that's, like, the scariest thing to me. What would you do if you saw an alien? It depends on what the alien is doing, what, Yeah, I think. what it looks like, too. Either hey, way, Sucker. I'm out. Either way, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made my decision. Either way, I'm out, dude. Like, I don't even want to know what it can do, what it's capable of. I got you, I got you. Like, even if it's friendly, you know? So if it's one of those little, like, normal, like, green, pale aliens that, like, we always see, like, the memes of? Just, like, a good guy? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think anything would, like, compel me to be like, yo, I gotta go beat this thing really quick, you know? Dude, I'd be terrified because you never know. What if it like shape shifts? You go to like dap it up and then it just shape shifts into uh, like a monster and it just like bites your hand oh, off. Dude, I'm out. Isn't that like I'm a movie, out. The Thing? Is that what it's called? What about you, Aaron Denny? What would you do if you saw an alien? Well, what if they looked like us, like normal people? That would be you crazy. Know? I guess we've met them already. No. Then I guess we've met them already, yeah, and we don't even know. I don't know what I would do. Probably run, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Matt? Matt's going, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, sir? How you doing, good boy, good yeah, how you doing, Gorg, good fella? <laughs> good to meet you. My name is Matthew Jean Rowe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we get you water? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Greetings. Greetings. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I, I think, like, the first thing you got to do is kind of, like, par with you. I would immediately, instinctively go, okay, friend or foe, dead stare, what are you going to do? Look straight at the eyes. If you feel any, like, your hair tingles or something, like Shh. like you said, out. gone. Be out. <laughs> um, you have to cut corners, get around corners quick, yeah. like, fine, like, I don't know, gone. But if he's got the scared eyes as well, and he's like, oh, how do I do this? And I'm thinking, how do I do this? I try and find a... Friendly noises. Yeah, yeah. like, a, a way to communicate, like, a universal <laughs> communication. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, uh, you know what? I changed my answer. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I, I kind of do like the idea of just having like a standoff from like a you safe distance. To. Oh, you have, and then to. just like reading like what. Yeah, it's like yeah, uh, all crazy, right. Because you know, if they walk away, we good. I'm yeah, away. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, we <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't want they no smoke. <laughs> if they start like running towards me in some oh, way, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm running yeah. straight towards them. No. <laughs> what if that's the way they greet? Is they run each other really hard to just tackle yeah. each other? Scary movie three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Take each other in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Diego? What would you do? Great question. I'm going to come clean with you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, wait. Hold <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shape shifts into the oh, dude, that'd be crazy. Is. Oh my Lights, god, camera shut off, and it's over. Out. We're never seen again. Oh, honestly, yeah, like real. if I see anything that I think looks like an alien, I'm probably gonna run. I don't want any smoke, bro. I'm I'm avoiding anything supernatural, alien. I don't yeah. think that's a fight I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, well, you won't. Safe way out. Safe way out. Don't Different hate, question for it. you guys here. What if, as a society, we became so advanced that we could travel to other galaxies without like a time oh. barrier? Good question. Would you do it? Oh, let me ask you a question. So, like, what would we be doing, like, on those? That is like, a pretty if, good question. Well, that's what I'm... If it's, like, like... if we're, like, setting up life or if you're kind of, like, just being, like, a tourist, is that, like, what you're getting yeah, at? Yeah, that's what I'm... If I'm being a tourist, yeah. If I'm setting up life, no, I can't. Like, I'm I'm not going. If you're I'm setting st up life. <laughs> if we're, like, moving the entire population yeah, of Earth. Creating, like, a colony to, like, there. Yeah. yeah, that's too much work, huh? Yeah. I mean... You don't want to be a pilgrim? It, no, I'm staying where I'm at. I'm sorry. So is it the entire population of the world or just <laughs> the country? Let's, yeah, what was the question? Yeah, let's again? clarify <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty, like, ambiguous, open-ended question. We're pretty much, like, let's say society, humanity, has the technology to travel to other planets. And let's be more specific, like you said. Let's say we have a couple of colonies already established okay. on other planets. Like so, Western and Eastern. Yeah, and like yeah. So let's say we have, like, a colony, like, on Mars. And then a colony on the moon. Let's say this is like a couple hundred years from now. And, and like are these you societies that are like thriving. Are you saying that there's life on all these other planets like before we got there? No, we started the life. We're the life now. Oh, okay. Although we will revisit that in a um, second. I, I, I would. I would 100%. Would. Yeah, I think I would. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. You're going back and forth. My only burning question with that is living on the moon and living on Mars, your body's adapting. 
and it's changing. Oh. Yeah. If you're not ready yeah. for it, I don't Let's know if that would be painful. we have like painful. a huge like biosphere or something okay. like that where like we have like our own artificial gravity that like simulates gravity on Earth. So it's like oh, living wow. on Earth. Interesting. Wow. wow. Look at yeah, this. so this is going to be like a completely like advanced futuristic society where like we were able to use our resources, come together and travel You know to what I'm planets. doing? I'm, I'm saying no. I'm saying no because I just know like eventually we're just going to destroy what we're going to be like living on like we're doing now. Like, I can't get behind it. If you went to another planet, let's say, like, you're an alien life form, and let's say that there's alien life on that planet already, and you're going to get to be, like, one of the first travelers there, would you do it? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> no. no. There's no point in me going there. And, hey, yeah, because you'd have to... Another way. Yeah. Shout out. Shout then out to Then I would the, have to delegate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Isaac, you got to kill them. Hey, yeah. <laughs> shout out to the brave soul that does Then that it would though. be war, <laughs> I think, like you said. It's, uh, you know? it's a question for that. So, like, you're the first traveler, obviously. Like, what's the point of going up there, though? Like, you're going to be the yeah. stepping stone. You're going to be gonna, like, hey, like, is it cool create the foundation? If we, like, if we, like, you know, coexist with you on this planet? Absolutely not. I'm yeah, not. I'm too scared. Yeah, I'd be too scared to yeah. do that one too. Matt's gonna say, "How Ooh. you doing?" <laughs> no, Matthew John Rowe. And they're like, <laughs> 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 "You observe, you find the power, you curate the power, and then you teach." Sometimes that doesn't end well. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen it Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that sounds a lot like that one like short we saw in Love Death Robots. Yeah, yeah. What, oh, that, that one was crazy so one. good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, she was. Asleep. <laughs> she was hey, don't listen to her. She, no, was I, I, she doesn't I know what she's it. talking sure. about. This, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, it. like this is if you look at the. No. So here's the thing. It's idea. That's the ideal like plan. No, you're for, you're misunderstanding. You know I mean? If this is to a forested area where you can't see life. Like, you go in loaded, guns blazing. I'm saying if you're looking at a civilization and there's malls and there's a McDonald's and there's people driving cars. Right. If I see humans, that's why I said that. Okay, I got so you. Here, okay. so I was, easy. And that was, was in, there. And that was the assumption of me, like, not, like... But if it's, like, an ocean yeah. world and it's, like, crazy weather and you can't see life on that planet... Yeah, okay. That is terrifying. Yeah. So, you know, so like, saying? the civilization's already established. Right. And, like, you're just, yeah. you know, you're you there. You just come in. Yeah. You're just like, all right. Okay, I see where, you, I see where you're going with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I it isn't it. inhabited and you have the chance to, oh, I don't know, like, uh, get there and write a book. <laughs> Dude. And make it so that all the generations after that. How's it going, guys? Follow a book and. Day three. All the good stuff. I guess you'll always be remembered. You will. You know, it either will be good or bad. Yeah. You guys may not be able to answer this question, but would you fall in love with an alien? I <laughs> 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 You can Whoa. take that however Diego, you want. First, first off, <laughs> oh, you answer first. Yeah, dude. If I see a face hugger, yeah, oh my what god, what are we doing? <laughs> Xenomorph. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Make me act up. Xenomorph. <laughs> That's the Xenomorph? last yeah, alien no. creature I'd want to be with. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I could fall in love with an alien. How would you know? I don't That's know. I just don't think racist. I could. How do you? Know? That's, That's gotta, gotta be. be like, <laughs> some, <laughs> 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 in some way or another, that's gotta be like some sort of racist. No, I I don't know. Just like going off of like my own image, like of okay. what I think an alien could be. I don't think I could, but maybe if it feels like a Star Wars alien, like a humanoid alien. Hey, I could, I could. On be the convinced. low, Moss Eisley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in spirits of that uh, new release trailer. Like, what about the Avatar? You know, what about that planet? What if it's Ooh, like these? I don't blue, think I could. Like half animal, half human. Well, my man Jake did. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but he couldn't unless he was them. He still because love. How I see it is, if there are civilizations out there, they have their own form of breeding. There's probably not a chance that it's the same as ours, right? It's kind of interesting. So well, how? I'd be an Avatar. <laughs> You'd be an Avatar. Oh, 100 percent. Speaking of Avatar, she would be an Avatar. I would be an Avatar. Yeah. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, I'd be an airbender. <laughs> They're on Fire Nation. Yeah, hey, no, no, I'm good. Actually, I think I'd, I'd definitely like in the water. One final question: What happens if an alien civilization comes and we go to war? Are you gonna help out? Are you gonna try to hide, survive, or are you gonna put on the the Spartan suit and you're gonna get up there and, <laughs> and fight? It just depends know. what they're like loaded with. You know like, what I'm do saying? we even have a chance? Like, yeah, first off, first off, like, do we have a chance? Like, say, say let's say there's like a, a chance, but humanity has to like unite. So all these countries at war, we all got to get together. Wow. We got to pool our resources, and that's the only way we have a chance. Or the resistance. We'd we'll put resistance. up a good fight for sure. Um, but if they're coming to Earth, we got home field have... advantage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> home court. Yeah. If everyone was called upon, like, and the only chance was us uniting, I think, yeah. I think 
think I would definitely have to go out there. Yeah, we'd have to do it. Do what I gotta do, sort of thing. That was the only chance. If like I knew there was no chance, I'm out. (laughs) (laughs) What about you, Aaron Denny? Yeah, if we unite, I'd probably you know fight like an avatar would, (laughs) like a good citizen. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I see Aaron Denny like rushing the the (laughs) alien and they just like destroy. Oh, yeah, I would destroy everyone. She's on the they get her with the ray gun. Yeah, I definitely fight, but also it just depends like what they're loaded with. Like I said, who knows about what they have? Oh, what they? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These are all like open-ended questions, just trying to gauge your guys' thoughts. Yeah, about about you, Matt. Matt? I hate it, dude. I'm like so much death for what and why. Like, I would rather die trying to understand their point of view. Like, I'm that one character in the movie that gets in a ship or something and just falls it straight to someone in charge on the other (laughs) side and goes, "Can we talk?" Like, what is happening? <laughs> why? 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 What do you want? What do you need? I'd probably die. But I'd rather like, die doing nope. that than killing something. I just, yeah, it's for the sake of humanity. All right. So, like, say, hey, they have bad intentions. They just want to wipe us out because they think we're just, you know, we're just parasites, you know, living in, in their world. You would just, like, I'd still ask we just them take why. it? I'd still ask them why. So you'd, so you'd try to stop the war? I'd still ask them why. There's I'd nothing, like, nothing. Hey, why are you doing this? Okay. Something like that. And it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> Then you're the first. You're the first one dead. Like, like a, like a, like a, <laughs> and that's true. Like I, but that's the thing is I. I they don't. I already well, accept. Here's that the thing well. is like they don't say anything. They're just. Like, no, that's a tough question, honestly, because I I don't know what I would do. I I'm probably on the same page as you guys. Where if their technology is similar to ours, similar, close, I would fight. You know, because I think we would have a chance. We have a chance. But dude, if they got ray guns, thunder oh, cannons, brand, and <laughs> bro, all this <laughs> other stuff, I'm out. We out. I Peace. think. The best thing in that situation that I could do is just is die just with my loved ones. That's that's so cute. But I mean, I'm st- you know what I'm doing? I'm swiping their ship first <laughs> off. And like I'm out. Getting all the homies, everyone that I care about, hey, swiping their ship. Okay, so if life does exist and aliens come, what's one resource that you want them to bring to just like, you know, kind of like mm. make life better? Make life better on Earth. Mm. Easy. This is easy. All right, Matt, let's go first. A power source. That is infinite. However, get they that. never really give it to us <laughs> because just, I don't trust us. It's just like we have access to it. We just it. have access. Just, to just it. something we, that can just save the ozone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Definitely. I'm thinking something <laughs> along those lines. Something that's gonna like help us in the long run. It'd be cool. They like they like take all the pollution and it actually powers their ships. Yeah. Exactly. And it's like yo, that'd be sick. Like so toxic it's a, it's waste a, it's powers a win, their win, ships. Right. Win win. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Like why not? Where are we at? I would definitely agree with Matt. Infinite energy would be pretty cool. But just for the sake of conversation, maybe like a different kind of food. That would that's, be sick if they brought us cute. like some alien food. I would love to yeah. try that. I always go back to Lord of the Rings. I don't know why, but there's the lamb, lamb, I don't know how to pronounce it, lamnus bread, yes. where you eat a bite of it and it fills up your entire stomach. <sighs> like it's a full meal, that's, but it's just a bite of bread. That's what, that's what they It gives you all the nutri- nutrients. Crazy. I think it's like a magical food, but something yeah, like that would be cool. like a little sick. cube and it gives you all your, I don't know. Dude, that would be insane. Yeah, and I'm with that. No, that's cool. Some sort of like cloudy, cloudy with a chance of meatballs device. Like I'm, <laughs> yeah. hoping, I'm hoping they like bring that over <laughs> here. Yeah, Jello literally. It just give, yeah, give, it's like yeah. on our phones. We just like text. <laughs> 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 sort of thing. You know what I mean? We like, yeah, we put it in our phone. Just, hey, right here. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, that, would be awesome. uh, that would be insane. Yeah. Hopefully they get rid of like plastic that we have. Plastic is not doing very well here on earth. So anyways, this is a, a cry out out there. Please help <laughs> us. <laughs> We're helpless. Politicians, we need yeah. you. I, I, this I is the video that saves the world. No, I'm literally. <laughs> I'm serious. This though. is the one that's going to be broadcasted all around the world. The one thing I love about humans is I really do believe we always negotiate, even with ourselves, to end my thesis on aliens. I think we would figure it out with them. Any final remarks from any of you guys? First off, uh, let me just throw this out. <laughs> Hold up. Real quick. From the last video. <laughs> Back to the last video. There was something that got brought up. So my plan, Antelope Island. <laughs> He's got to correct himself. Yo, first off, I'm correcting myself because this is me throwing things out. <laughs> Thinking, thinking that Antelope Island was like 
filled to the brim Dude, with water. I wanted right, to first say something. Off, and then, yo, because I haven't been to Antelope Island in like years. It's been like it's been like a good five, six, seven years. Yeah. All right, so like it's been a minute. So I'm changing my answer right now. Antelope <laughs> Island, uh-huh. uh, an island, <laughs> an Love island, it. fixed. Oh, yeah, fixed. All right. Yeah, it was a you, good answer, hey. assuming there was water. Yo, because you, I think I was, I was watching the videos today. You posted a picture of it, it and I was like, <laughs> I gotta say something, dude. I look like an idiot out there. <laughs> no, to be fair though, even like my assumption of like Tyre, where they built the human bridge, I was wrong about that one. They didn't build the bridge out of humans. Oh wow! They built it from like the remains of like the humans that lived like in the area after they killed them. But we're both idiots. Yeah, we're both <laughs> idiots. Wow. I tried to make it look like I wasn't an idiot though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, until I got blasted on thrown on that picture <laughs> of what it looks like today. I made him an eight yeah, <laughs> zombie. Whatever, man. <laughs> so I'm changing my answer to an island. So it's not far off. It's, it's not, not far it's not. off. It's just an island. It, it was a good. It was a yeah. good answer. Cool. Aaron Denny, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, Remember to like fun. and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> down below. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. Thank you so much for listening to Friends with Benefits. My name is Diego. My name is Matt. My name is Aaron Denny. Isaac. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>